Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mr. Distinctions. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. You can also check my previous videos so that you watch, you put a like and a comment so that you move together uh, in this academic journey. Okay, so in this video I'm sharing with you Belarus Paper 2 2011. This is question 5. This take uh, this question was based on the topic which is called human nutrition. It is among the important topics which you need to know. <clears throat> okay, so question 5 reads figure 5.1 and 5.2 show the cross section through two different portions of the human alimentary canal. So we have been given two portions, two different portions as we can see over here which we are taking from the human alimentary canal. Okay, so what was the first question? Question 5A. This is question 5A1. From which part of the alimentary canal were these cross sections taken? So, we have been asked to, to name the parts of the alimentary canal from which these parts were taken okay so in the first place before we even answer this question we need to understand what an alimentary canal is so when talk of an alimentary canal we're just talking about the two buttes around from the mouth to the anus so that is actually what uh, what an alimentary canal is okay so let's answer now the question from which part of the alimentary canal were these cross sections taken okay so if you can see clearly you can see that both of the segments are something which can help us to identify where exactly where these parts taken so if you can see this diagram you can see that it has got something inside there and these parts are called villi are called villi and the only part which has got villi uh, in the alimentary canal is ilium so this part this segment was taken from ilium Okay, so that was the first answer. Ilium, the spelling is I-L-E-U-M. What about the second one, the second figure? So if you can see, it has also uh, it has got also this part which is looking like a, a leaf. And if you just see something which is looking like a leaf, when you are talking about the alimentary, you can just know that that part is a pancreas. So, knowing that this is a pancreas, now we can answer. We can answer this question. So, the only part which has, which has got, uh, it has got a pancreas attached to it in the alimentary canal is duodenum. So, <clears throat> this part is duodenum. Okay, so those were the answers for this question. So, if you want the spelling, the spelling for Duodenum is D-U-O-D-E-N-U-M. Okay. Then, question 8, we have been given and uh, we have been told to give reasons for our answers in figure in A1 above. So, the, what are the reasons for why we have said that this figure or this part was taken from ilium and this part was taken from uh, duodenum so the first answer the reason for this answer for figure 5.1 is that because ilium is the part which has got what projections which are called vidu so that was the answer because of the projections which are called vidu then the reason for this answer 
for figure 5.2 because duodenum is a part which has got what pancreas so those were the reasons okay let's go to the next question question b explain the role played played by b in the alimentary canal so we have been asked to explain the role which these parts play in the alimentary canal so in the first place we have to identify which parts are these so these parts are muscles which are called longitudinal muscles and the circular muscles so we have long circular muscles and the longitudinal muscles so the function of uh, longitudinal muscles and circular the the both of the both of the muscles is just to to contract and what relax during the process of what peristalsis and this process keep them uh, the food moving on its way through the what the digestive system so the function of these muscles is just to contract and relax to keep the food moving by the process of what peristalsis okay Let's go to the last question, question C. Name two juices passing through tube C. So, you have been told to name the two juices which pass through tube C. Okay, here we can mention pancreatic juice which is produced in the pancreas. Then, we can mention bow bow b i l e which is produced by the distraction which is uh, produced as a result of the distraction of uh, the old red blood cells so pancreatic juice is an answer the second answer is in bow thank you very much for watching keep on following me don't forget to subscribe